Hi, folks. Gosh, that was weird. Well, I'm used to seeing the red light, and there's a cord right in front of the red light, so I couldn't tell for sure whether we were on or not. Surprise. Anyway, um, hey, guys. <laughs> Just a little technical difficulty there. Normally, I see a red light. Anyway, all right, I'm going to do a little demo this morning on something I've never done before. Um, Dad found this product about, ah, oh gosh, probably about four or five months ago. He was searching YouTube, which he does all the time, and he found somebody using this little product, and uh, he ordered some on Amazon, and I got them, and I've been playing with them, and uh, man, this thing is really cool. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of pinch dogs, but this is a pinch dog. Yeah, it's against my black shirt. Probably doesn't show up real well. This is a piece of metal. Couldn't be. This is two inch. They have different sizes: inch and a half, two inch, and three inch. Maybe even different sizes. But they're 90 degree on the side. They're, again, these are I think are steel, and then they've got this taper. So what happens is. These will take the place of using big clamps. You guys know I love my Bessie clamps. Uh, I love my bar clamps. But this is a great alternative. And this has been around. This system has been around for like since woodworking has been around evidently. Um, and it's really a kind of a neat little uh, gadget, so to speak. So I want to show you how these work. They're pretty simple. It takes a little practice, but they're pretty simple to do. So what you're going to need is you're going to need some of these. and. I think they come in 10 packs or six packs. I think we got a pack of 10. You're going to need uh, some glue. You're going to need a little uh, glue um, spreader of some kind, a hammer. And then I have some little pieces of 3 8 MDF that's covered with packing tape so I can keep the joint from floating on me. And I'll show you how I do that. I've done that before in uh, other things. And then the way I'm doing this, again, there's lots of videos out there that show you how to do this. The way I'm going to do it is a little bit different. Here's just a little piece of scrap, and I'm setting up against some uh, bench dogs here to give me something to pound to. So what you do is you, you'll need to have a pretty good joints that will uh, be this way. Actually, there's a great video by Paul Sellers that actually talks about how to make this joint on a little bit of a camber, which causes a spring joint. In this particular case, I jointed these, and I've got a really good joint there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some glue on there, and we're going to clamp that thing together with these bench dogs, theoretically. Hopefully it works out the way I think it will, if my glue will flow on me. Um, anyway, it, uh, it's really a kind of a cool little system. And I, uh, Dad ordered them, I, without me even knowing it, Dad ordered these, like, I don't know, it's been months ago. And I've been waiting for the right time to make a video on them to show you guys what they do, but they're uh, pretty cool. And you old timers probably know exactly what these are. Me, I didn't know. I had no idea until Dad actually showed me, and then I went on and watched a couple videos. So I'm just going to try and kind of. You want your boards around the same the same length. This is off maybe by an eighth of an inch, but you want your boards around the same length. I'm going to try and kind of hold them level there, but. If it's not, it's not that big a deal. Reach over and grab my hammer. Just get them start, get it started there. Now I'm going to switch it end for end. I'm going to use a couple of these down here, just so I'm not tapping directly against the bench dog on that end. Try and hold that flat. Try and kind of split it. The other thing that you'll need to do is cut your boards uh, an inch or two longer on each end so that these holes, you can just trim those holes off when you're done. You can see the way it's pulling that joint together. Uh, now I'm going to turn it around the other way again. Tap this in a little bit more. Oop, that's what. Then I'm going to take and I'm going to use my my little calls, for lack of a better term, 
I'll put one below, one above. This is where the packing tape comes into play. And see the way that kind of brings that joint, it flushes that joint out. This is the same, same uh, thing that I do when I'm uh, doing, you know, regular clamps and stuff, regular, my bar clamps. Yeah, that was a rooster, wasn't it? Yeah, it must be morning. Anyway, that's it. You can see that's a pretty good joint there. You got plenty of squeeze out going on there. So you want to have uh, the cool thing about this this glue, of course, you guys know, cleans up pretty easy with with a damp cloth. But that is uh, makes actually a pretty nice little board. But these pinch dogs are really cool. I mean, I could definitely see. So, you know, if you think about it, I think it's like 20 bucks for a pack of 10 or something. 18 or $20 for a pack of 10, uh, which gives you a lot of clamping. Uh, now, if you've got a super long board, here's where that, uh, and go watch Paul Sellers' video, where if you had a little bit of a camber, meaning that, that there would be a gap here and a gap here, and it would have a little bit of a spring joint, that's where you wouldn't necessarily need that with this, or if you've got a little bit of a cove cut to this, you would definitely need a big bar clamp in here, or find another way to clamp it. But this is um, going to be plenty good at joint for me good a joint that didn't sound didn't right sound it's gonna be plenty good for me anyway um, they're really a cool little product anyway uh, you can find them on Amazon I'm sure you can find them a lot of different places we've actually got them in our Amazon store if you need them um, but yeah it's really a neat deal and uh, man you guys if you guys buy clamps you know how expensive clamps are so if you're in a trying to make boards like this on a budget Get yourself some of these pinch dogs. Uh, way, way cool. And you can see it's really not that hard to do. Just takes a little practice. I kind of messed it up a couple times, just kind of getting the process down. But once I got it down, it's a pretty simple deal. So that's it, guys. That's the demo for today. So don't forget, we'll be on Friday Live. Um, me and Dad this week. And we've got lots of things going on. So if you guys need any uh have any questions anything that i can answer for you be sure to let me know eric at makeawoodsign.com or you can leave a comment in this video if you guys need any router bits or supplies and stuff there's the website there makeawoodsign.com uh what am i forgetting oh i'm on instagram every day uh, make a wood sign on instagram and we appreciate you watching we love you all and we'll see you on friday Bye bye